Welcome to Structure Fishing. As Buck Perry says, knowledge is the key to fishing success. Structure Fishing is a show that is packed with fishing knowledge. Regardless of your skill level or where you fish or what you fish for, you will learn something on each show that will help you catch more fish. We'll take you on the water and into the classroom. Let's see what we have for you on today's show. Coming up later on HLS News, Georgia has a new state record brown trout. Stay tuned for that full story and more later on in the show. Coming up later in the classroom, I'll be continuing my discussion on watercolor. In this part two, I'll be showing you how selecting a lake with good watercolor can make a big difference in catching fish. But right now we're going back to the Detroit River with certified instructor Jerry Borst. Jerry will show us how to vertical jig the river for some nice sized walleyes. Then after that, Casey and I will be on Lake LaSalle catching some early season catfish. All right, what we're using today is uh, we're jigging with these blade baits. And, uh, the way I rig it is to take a snap to an 80 pound mono leader for two reasons. Obviously we got muskies in the area, we don't want to get bit off and uh, you're not going to get bit off with an 80 pound leader. Also it's stiff and it keeps it out of the hooks so it keeps you from getting fouled. Take that to a swivel and I'm using 20 to 25 pound mono and uh, what we're doing is we're just vertical jigging, dropping it down to the bottom, letting it sink. Right now we're the wind is blowing us, so it's kind of keeping us kind of neutral. Uh, so we, we're, we're having to use the troll or the, the big motor here to kind of keep our baits straight up and down. When I drop it down, I jig it up, let it fall back down to the bottom. We tried trolling, it seemed like the speed was too fast. So that's why we're doing it this way. We're slowing things down a little bit. I mean, you may, may think that this, that's a fast drift, but it's really three speeds. It's the zero speed sitting on the bottom. The speed of the lift, which is quick, and then the fall, which is a little bit small, a little bit slower. And uh, that's what we're doing today, catching these big walleyes. Not a huge one, but you never know until you get them up. What you got out there? I don't know. Oh, he is pretty good size. You might need the net. Might need the net. What'd you get him on? Uh, uh, one ounce bales blade again. Well, this time not this time. It's a uh, it's a walleye, smaller than yours. It's a decent. One. I'm okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice All right, one. nice fish. Good job, Chase. Yeah, he's a he's definitely an eater. He's an eater. Well, here. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay. I got a little heavier fish here. A small musky or a good walleye. Vertical jigging. Vertical jigging. Now uh, one ounce blade bait. Just came up. That's a nice fish. That's about a. Oh, that's a nice one. 24, 28. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, that's 24. Yeah, yeah that's that's a good one. makes some good eating too. Very nice. Nice, beautiful fish. A little stronger than a white bass. Okay. Maybe this. Smallie. Little smallie. Smallie. That's what it is. Okay. Little one. They put up a good fight for their size. He started the modern day era of freshwater fishing. He is known as the father of structure fishing. His discoveries and teachings have brought pleasure and success to millions of fishermen who never even heard his name. He was inducted into the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame and the Bass Hall of Fame. He is Buck Perry founder of the National Spoon Pluggers of America. The National Spoon Pluggers of America continues on today. It is an educational organization comprised of some of the best structured fishermen and clubs across America. 
The National Spoon Pluggers of America's non-competitive, supportive atmosphere is focused on sharing and helping each other and where fishing is still a family sport. For a $30 yearly membership to the National Spoon Pluggers of America, you will receive a bi-monthly newsletter that contains articles by certified instructors who are experienced and intimately familiar with the techniques to help you catch more fish. Receive access to back issues. Receive Spoon Pluggers of America boat decal and patch. Receive an autographed portrait of Buck Perry, a copy of Buck Perry's basic fishing guidelines. You will be invited and welcomed to attend networking events and outings held all over the country. At these outings, you will have opportunities to learn from the best there is, to ask questions and get real answers. You will receive a directory and have access to members and clubs across the country. As Buck says, knowledge is the key to fishing success. Start your knowledge now and become a member. Log on to www.nsoa.info to join. Hey, welcome to the classroom. Today we're going to discuss watercolor and how weather affects it. In an earlier classroom session, we discussed how weather affects fish movements, specifically the cold front. It was said that the lighter or brighter it is, the tougher the fishing will be. The same held true when we discussed watercolor. The more light that is able to penetrate the water, the tougher the fishing will be. To show you how the fish will react to weather and water conditions, let's take a look at three different lakes that have identical structures. The only difference will be watercolor. One lake is clear water with a weed line at 15 feet. The next is medium yellow green with a weed line at 7 feet. And the last lake is white sandy color with no weed line. Our starting point will be the first day after a cold front. The call fund sanctuary depth for the fish in the clear lake will be 80 feet, 70 feet in the yellow green lake, and 50 feet in the white sandy. On the second day after the front, the fish will move to 70 feet, 50 feet, and 40 feet respectfully. On the third day, the fish return to their normal sanctuary depth, 50 feet in the clear lake, 40 feet in the yellow green lake, and 30 feet in the white sandy lake. On the fourth day after the front, the fish are now moving pretty good. When they become active and leave their normal sanctuary depth, the school of fish in the clear lake will move to 40 feet, 30 feet in the yellow green lake, and 24 feet on the white sandy lake. The fish are active for 10 minutes on the clear lake, 20 minutes on the yellow green lake, and 30 minutes on the white sandy lake. Conditions are still improving on day five. The main school of adult fish moved to the 30 foot break line in the clear lake, 24 feet in the yellow green lake, and 15 feet on the white sandy lake. On the clear lake, the fish are active for 20 minutes, 35 minutes on a yellow green lake and for 50 minutes on the white sandy lake. On day six, the school now moves to 24 feet on a clear lake, 15 feet on a yellow green lake and seven feet on a white sandy lake. The fish in a clear lake are active for 25 minutes, 45 minutes on a yellow green lake and just over an hour on the white sandy lake. Selecting a lake with good watercolor can make a big difference in catching fish. As a general rule of thumb, the clearer the water, the shorter the movements or activity time. On the clear lake, we'll have 25 minutes at the most, and we have to be more precise with our lure presentation to contact the fish in 24 feet, when compared to the white sandy lake, that the fish are biting for well over an hour, and they have moved into the shallows at 7 feet. Our lure presentation will be much easier on the white sandy lake than on the clear lake or the yellow green lake. As we discussed earlier, Natural lakes will be clearer in the colder months and get better color as things warm up. Some natural lakes are known to get an algae bloom, especially if we have a warm summer. Many fishermen think an algae bloom is bad for fishing. It's just the opposite. A very good algae bloom can make a light yellow green lake into a dark yellow green lake. In most reservoirs, it's just the opposite. Your best water color will usually occur in the early spring. Typically, the more spring runoff in the lake, the better the water color. As you get later in the season on reservoirs, things will settle out and unlike natural lakes, reservoirs will tend to be clear up in the summer. We can't control the weather conditions, but most of us fish in an area where we have a selection of lakes and we can choose a lake with better water color, especially when we have a tough weather condition. For more information on this classroom subject, as well as any others, check out structurefishing.com slash education. Right, okay, yeah, we're jigging. Decided to uh, abandon the trolling for a little for a little jig in here. And uh, we just hooked into one here. Oh, it's actually not too bad, yeah. What's the net? 
That may be. Okay, well, I haven't yeah. seen it yet, but uh, he's uh, got a little weight to him. Yeah, looks like it's a musky. Musky? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, no. No, drum. A walleye. No, a big walleye. Oh, a walleye. Look at that. Oh, a nice big walleye. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You don't know my fish. Yeah, you got to learn your fish sometimes. <laughs> nice. I better keep doing this. Nice walleye. That's what we're looking for. It's a nice one. That's a beaut. Leave them in the water like that? Yeah, that's great. So what we're fishing about 29 feet. Yeah, yeah. And there's a there's a, is it a hump or just a break line? It's just really a hard spot. You know, we got a lot okay. of it's like a bottom transition, you know. That, okay. Uh, we do got deep water. The the main shipping channel or the dredge channel is over over to this side. So we're just off of it. But it's a nice clean hard area and we took a marker one on this end and then one down there and we've just been kind of drifting so down we're it. going drifting between the markers exactly the current and the wind yep, okay yep. great yeah that's a beaut yeah that's a nice one i like go 10 won't it yeah. close yeah, maybe eight i always over overestimate <laughs> i've been accused of that and you're not alone i think that's just a Nice, there we nice go. fish. Yeah. Might be 27ers. Yeah. A nice walleye. Would you like to catch more and bigger fish consistently? Are you tired of all the gimmicks out there? Buck Perry once stated that knowledge is the key to fishing success, not a fancy lure or the latest equipment. For a fraction of the price of a fishing guide, purchase Buck Perry's Guidelines for Fishing Success. This eight-volume home study course will guide you step-by-step step and go over all the mechanics to become a successful fisherman. After completing this home study course, you'll have long-term success that will allow you to feel comfortable on any any lake you fish and for any species. For more information and to purchase this home study course, visit structurefishing.com forward slash education. Unlock the power of HDS with your fingertips. The power to find a needle in a haystack. You will outsmart the fish. Get there first with confidence and always stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. Find, navigate, dominate with the new HDS Gen 2 Touch from Lowrance. Before heading to your boat and every time you leave the dock, have all the detailed bottom structure you need to target fish, offshore humps, ledges, creek channels, road beds, shown with the most accurate contour lines from Navionics and it just keeps getting better with sonar charts. Submit your sonar logs for better local charts. The freshest data every day for your chart plotter and mobile device. View our charts online at Navionics.com. XI-5 from MotorGuide. A wireless trolling motor engineered for anglers by anglers. Delivering key performance attributes with power, toughness, stealthy, quiet operation. And for you control freaks, our optional pinpoint GPS navigation system lets you position your boat precisely where the fish are, instantaneously, accurately, built to earn you bragging rights. Meet the all new XI-5, only from Motor Guide. As Jerry said, he was using Structure as his guide to catch these walleyes. When it comes to deep water vertical jigging, no one does it better than Jerry. Coming up next, I'm with Casey at LaSalle Lake. LaSalle Lake is a cooling lake for a power plant located about 60 miles southwest of Chicago. 
It's early spring and we're fishing the break lines that form one of the deep water basins in this man-made lake. This lake is noted for hybrid stripers and big catfish. I think we got another fish on. We're doing a trolling pass and I, I bet it's a catfish. Maybe a striper, so you never know. This guy's not fighting that much. Uh, with Twister tail because we're running a three way and we try to get the hook out. But nice channel cat. Well, here's our catfish, tiny one. This is an average size, and you can see that little cut. I don't know where that's from. And yeah, let's let her go. There she goes. We are trolling a crankbait really fast. And man, he hit me really hard. Whoa, I think it's a catfish. Nice catfish, pretty nice, decent size, but you catch some. Um, what I'm talking about, <sighs> really big catfish. This is a little one you call here. This is our catfish. He's a nice catfish. This is a small catfish you call here. I'm not kidding, you catch really big catfish here. So let's let this guy go. Good day, I'm Rob Burgundy, and this is what's happening on your HLS News. Chad Dowdy was fishing the Chattacoochee River below the dam. The brown trout put up a great fight, and Chad had to abandon his kayak to run down the fish as it nearly stripped out all of his fishing line. It was the first fish caught of the day for Chad and his friends. Chad wanted to continue fishing, but his friends urged him to have the fish weighed on immediately on a certified scale as they thought it was a record. <laughs> Turns out they were right. The fish ended up beating the old Georgia record by two pounds. Chad's new state record brown trout tipped the scales at 20 pounds, 14 ounces. Soul Power is a new product to charge your mobile device. It is a shoe sole insert that will charge a battery pack by walking. After a short hike, you'll have enough battery power stored to charge your phone and other devices. For more information, please visit soulpowertech.com. Here's a story of an angler who had may have caught a new state record crappie in Nebraska, but didn't want to kill a fish to enter the record books. Andy Moore was ice fishing this past winter and pulled a 19-inch crappie through a hole from a pond close to Omaha. The black crappie was 19 inches long, and based on the calculations from the measurements, the fish would have weighed in at 5 pounds. The current Nebraska record black crappie is 4 pounds 8 ounces. This past summer, there have been numerous reports of fishing spiders? being spotted in southeastern Wisconsin. These fishing spiders are commonly found near the water. They have been known to eat small fish and tadpoles. They do not build webs to catch their prey. They hunt their prey. Fishing spiders are the largest native spiders found in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Their body can be over an inch long and included in its legs can be several inches across. That's your hook, line, and sinker news. You stay safe, viewers. I'm Rob Burgundy.
Perry and John are certified structure fishing instructors through the Buck Perry Training Center. These CSIs will go out to your lake and teach you proper lure presentation, how to interpret a map, how to find and locate productive structure. They'll give you your own personalized instruction, both on and off the water. Past students include professional guides, tournament anglers, and regular weekend warriors seeking to better understand structure. Both John and Jerry fish the waters throughout the Midwest and beyond. Jerry's home base is Northern Illinois, and John resides in North Central Indiana. Instruction rates vary on distance traveled and days of instruction. Please contact John or Jerry to schedule your own personal instruction. Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Phone by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Phone will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar. When it comes to jump type baits, blade baits are at the top of the list, but not all blade baits are the same. Introducing the Bales Blade by Johnny B. Lures. With its unique vibrating action, blade baits offer a wide range of depth and speed control. They can be vertically jigged, jumped along the bottom of a structure, or you can simply swim the lure back to the boat. The Bales Blade is the result of years of testing and fine tuning to achieve the proper balance and action. Unlike other blade baits, the Bales Blade has split rings on all the hooks. This lessens the chance of a fish throwing the bait when hooked. For more information and to order, visit johnnyb-lures.com. I got a fish on here enjoying this break line. And we're using a crankbait, I mean a uh, spoon plug with a three-way. And I think it's a catfish. Probably is. Maybe a sheephead. I don't know. Ooh. Looks like a bass. Yep. Nice chubby guy. And look at his belly. He's fat. Nice bass. Yeah, you get bass some here, but here and there. But nice bass. So let's let him go. There he goes. We're fishing on this break line again, and looks like we got a catfish. That's a nice one. That's very small for this, like, catch monster size here. Nice fish. Well, we were fishing this break line again, and we thought this was a snag right away. But it seems to be a fish because it's pulling back. Look at that rod. Look at that rod tip. Oh my gosh. Bring them on the other side, Casey, because the wind's going to take them over. This is a big fish, whatever it is. Yeah, I think this might be one of those big old cats out of here. wrapped around and that's why he feels Ooh. do you want to get the net sure i can't get it wow this guy's putting up a fight i thought it was a snag okay, Another big cat. These incised catfish you catch too. These things when they hit, they they hit like a freight train, don't they? Yeah, sure. Well, I, yeah. They hit so hard, it, it feels like a snag. Try to get this guy in. There we go. 
it's a pretty decent sized catfish. Not too big. Man, this guy hit like a freak and it's so fun to catch these um, catfish because they're so strong. Get the net off. Nice one. And they get a lot bigger here. These are just these are just small ones. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get we'll get a couple of those big monsters here. Yeah. All right, let's throw them back. Okay. Good job. This is a big fish. I don't know what it is. It's taking line out. It's just whoa, whoa. It's a big cat. It's a big cat. Nice job, Casey. Let me get the net for you. Oh. Woo! Man, that guy was hard to reel in. Hurt my hand a little bit. All right, we'll get him out of the net and show everybody. Looks like we got the cat right here. Let me try to pull it out. Nice catfish. Pretty big. This is actually an average size of catch here. You can catch here, you can go out here and catch a lot of big catfish. Man, this guy took the fight. Woo! Nice catfish. Let's release him. Casey and I had a fun time on Lake LaSalle. Catfish are no different from any other game fish. They use structure and migrate on structure just like bass, walleye, muskie, and northerns. We cut all of these catfish on brake lines around one of the man-made holes. I hope you enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. For more information on the structures that were fished today and where we caught the fish, go to Fishity and send a buddy request to Structure Fishing. And for a limited time, get 50% off any premium membership at fishity.com forward slash shell. Enter promo code shell.